I've got uh, Pat Brennan in front of me and Chris Forreston. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> Lads, do you remember Frock and Sunday years ago? We do. We do, yeah. Coonog was a great place for Frockens. Coonog Wood. It was on the road between Kiltili and Ballamurphy on the left-hand side. So they made a song about it some years ago. And the start off was, on the 1st of July being the day of the year, every tramp through Ireland to Coonog this year. And there was a, a, a woman up there with the name of Hickey and she was supposed to be a great picker altogether. So the, the piece, this, this verse went like this. Maggie Hickey from Scollock picked black, blue and green. It was reported in Boris she had a picking machine. <laughs> <laughs> no. And you had a little bit of a song you were starting to write, Chris. I know it's only a work in progress. Oh, yeah. Uh, Where did that go? I just see I've not finished that now, and if I, I, I wanted to keep it till it be finished. It. <laughs> Do you want to give me a tiny little bit of it? Ah, uh? give us a tiny bit of it there to get the air of it. Let's see. I. <coughs> I met a little girl from Coley Hoon. She said we'd settle down and we'd be married soon. The girl from Coley Hoon. She brought me to the mound to pick frockens one day. She said she'd make a frock and cake and we'd have tea. The girl from Coley Hoon. She danced on the mountain on the mountain day. She danced on the mountain on the mountain day. She danced on the mountain on the mountain day. The girl from Coley Hoon. She brought me down to Hoynesteg and brought me back around to Greg. My head was as heavy and my feet was sore. When she said she wanted to visit her granny in the roar, the girl from Cooley Hoon. Our father have an acre of land, and all we have to do is get it planned. We'll build a house that'll be so grand for the girl from Cooley Hoon. She danced on a stone to the fiddles that day. She danced on a stone to the fiddles that day. Danced on a stone to the fiddle that day, the girl from a coolie hoon. <laughs> she got a letter from America, she said she'd go away but I had to stay, the girl from a coolie hoon. She danced on the mountain on the mountain day, she danced on the mountain on the mountain day, danced on the mountain on the mountain day, the girl from a coolie hoon. <laughs> That's a work in progress. Uh, yeah, that's a work in progress, not finished. Okay. When did you write that? Uh, about a fortnight ago, I'd say, or three weeks. Yeah. That not that long ago? No, 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 no. no. Where's Coolahoon? Coolahoon is on the road between Greg Namana uh, and uh, Boris, really. Near Tinny Hinches. Yeah, near Tinny Hinch. Near 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 Cali around Carry Glade Golf Course and around there. That's cool who was in that area. Uh, the reason I put that together was I was passing going the road and I every morning I go up and down there and I s s saw the the road sign, Cooley Hoon. And I thought there was a great little rhyme to it. Yeah. And that's how that came. Good. And did you go picking frockings on, uh, up on Mountain Sunday? The boat you used years ago? Which we didn't pack it. We, no. we went up to him <laughs> and all like that. But our, our, our parents, my mother would have picked them and so Pat's mother would have picked yeah, them and make yeah. jam too. Oh, yeah. They used yeah. to make jam of them. Yeah. 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 And the only thing when you go to the mountain, if you had any kind of good clothes on you, they'd be destroyed when you come back, they'd be all dyed with the black coat. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why they were such a good price in, in, the, in the wartime. The, 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 this export them for dye. Yeah. For dye. Yeah. 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 And do you remember Mountain Sunday going up there on I do. I was at the last Mountain Sunday that was at, that was on the mountain, the last one. And the last one was in uh ninety was it ninety seven was it Pat? Yeah, ninety six or ninety seven. No it wasn't, it was earlier, it was earlier. I'm not sure that date now. I think the last one was around nineteen ninety 90, uh, 1976. Was it? 70s, in the 70s, I think, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the last one I was at, that one, anyway. Yeah. 
and I was talking to Patty earlier about it, whatever. Do you remember what 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 can they carry on was going on up at the mountain? I remember that. Uh, they remember Sonny Coney used to bring up a trailer, a, a trailer and a new field tractor he had, and he'd have a few he'd have a few sweets and buns and sugar stick and all like that, and, and he, he used was, to have a little. He was and, also and, and he used to be, be that. dancing and be a music. He was Vicky Ford. He used to be up the box. Yeah, and uh, there was talks of it going to be revived again, but it didn't get to be revived because. Uh, it was revived, uh, Father Orkney, I was talking to him, he's, he's up in St Mullins there and he was going to revive, we were going to walk from H End here and it clashed with a Jim Canna that was in, uh, up in uh, St Mullins or somewhere and that put a stop to that, it didn't get to go at that time, you know. And what, what are we talking to revival, are you talking 10 years ago, more? I'd say you're talking more now, you know, Taking, talking more. 20 years, maybe. 20 years. And you were saying someone brought a, a little tractor up? Tractor and trailer up. Oh, there's Sonny Cooney right in Newark. He'd be Jim Blackburn's father-in-law. Yeah, yeah. He would take it up the up the mountain. He take there. it up the mountain, up by the barn and on and or up to up Corrigan. And I know what up be up be Cody's or go the other way. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went out. He went down up to. Yeah, once we went up there the other day. He went up through the wood, up through the the valley was down above. All right, yeah. You think he's going up there yeah. tomorrow? Yeah, hey, Michael Lincoln. Yeah, we're thinking about going up tomorrow with the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's fine. fine. Yeah, it's fine. And that went on. And was there, was there, do you remember any games up there, Chris, years ago? Any kind of competitions or anything like that? Or? There was no other, no, I don't no. remember any games. Yes, there was yes. a bit, they used to do a bit of dancing around somewhere, and, and I, I, that's all. It's to carry the people in the witch for people used to meet on it, you know? Yeah. And what used to happen was the witch, the Carla people, the Bella Murphy people, and all around Carla, there was a, a bona fide traveller that you weren't allowed to drink in your own pub. And they come out across the hill <laughs> and they drink down here in this pub. And the Wexford crowd would go and drink outside, out in yeah, Ballamurphy yeah, yeah, and yeah. St Mullins. We had to walk three miles. And it generally, it generally, it generally uh, all ended up in a, in, a, in a row, maybe. It could happen. <laughs> a punch up. Uh, the late Jack Kavanagh Mangan told me one time that he had uncles and they were huge big men. And they used to, they used to go to Ballamurphy. And they'd never come home, they'd be have to be in a row. They'd be involved in some kind of an argument anyway. Like, <laughs> that was part of, part of the whole yoke, you know. Yeah. That was and, it. and where was the pub here? The pub down. The, the, the pub had been right in Yorkshire, in yeah, the corner yeah, house. Yeah, corner house or uh, corner. And maybe bows and all. You see, bona fide traveller that time, you couldn't get a drink. <laughs> in your local pub, you'd have to go far, though, wouldn't you? Three miles. Three miles. Three miles. Yeah. You'd have to be, you'd go three miles to get a drink. Yeah. 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 yeah, that got a rule change then. Bona fide yeah. traveller, yeah. Yeah. And that, and then the frock and Sunday then what what wouldn't even drink up on the hill was there? I'll with a bottle of stout up there, would there? There wouldn't have been sure there no, no, was drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> well there was drink around there, but sure I don't know what he'd be allowed to mention it or not now. You know, sure it was the book in. It was brood like. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how liable you'd be if you mentioned that now, I don't know. <laughs> and tell me this then forget about that, drinking. What about making? You mentioned in your song about an apple tart or making a tart. What, did people make tarts? Oh, they made tar they'd make tarts of them as well. They'd make tart of frockings and they'd also make tart of blackberries. Years ago, yeah? They would, yeah. yeah. Same as you make an apple tart now. Yeah. Blackberry tart or frockin' tart, yeah. And I, I suppose they made wine of it as well, maybe. I don't know about the frockings, I don't know. Did you ever see anyone making the wine of it? No, I didn't, but... No. Uh, yeah. Did you ever have a, frock and a tart made of the frockings? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would your mother make it? Yeah, she did, she did. She would have had, yeah. I can't, I can't. I'm going to eat yeah. frocking, oh. frocking, yeah. And would she then, uh, would you, would she, uh, would you, would you pick him that day and she'd make him that evening? Oh, yeah, they'd pick him that day, yeah. They'd pick him that day and make him the next morning. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't go wrong, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know? No. Having the next Monday morning then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah, sugar and the same as you make an apple tart, like. Yeah. Same as you make an apple yeah. tart, make all yeah. that. And the last thing I'd ask you, there was courting going on up the hill as well, was there? There was what? Courting. <laughs> I suppose there was. I suppose <laughs> there'd be plenty of it going on, but sure. Uh, I didn't have any access to it. I was behind closed doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like the, <laughs> like the matches. <laughs> Go and sit over the thing behind you, Mike. Wait. <laughs> <laughs>
Ramirez. 